Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Aniza Firah binti Mamanuddin. I am from Group E. So, uh, my, our topic is cab booking system. Uh, we choose this topic because nowadays there's a lot of uh, similar system uh, with us, such as Grab, um, My Car, Go Car, and so on. So, before I start, let me introduce. Our group member. So the first one is Alvin Jensen and I just said the metric our uh, metric number is two six two six zero three. Second is Amy Najwa Pinti Humat Ramli. Metric number is two six three nine nine one. And third one is me, Aniza Firah Binti Humat Two six four zero seven one. And the last one is Nurul Fatin Shahira Binti Rahim. Metric number is Two seven one six one six. Okay. So now I'm gonna show you our list of requirement. So in list of requirement, I have two uh, functional functional, which is functional requirement and non-functional requirement. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna show functional requirement first. So in our functional requirement, we have four, which is register account, login system, booking system, and feedback. Okay, I'm gonna show you one by one. Okay. <clears throat> so for register account, uh, we use the requirement ID is CBS underscore zero one. Because CBS means cap booking system and zero one is it uh, means uh, for first function which is register account. Okay, in, uh, in our register account, we have four system, uh, which is register of user. User will create a new account as passenger or driver. System will allow the user to key in their detail. Such as name, email, address, phone number. System will, the system will create an account for the user, whether they are passenger or driver. Okay, so uh, re register account normally uh, provide some sort of credential, such as like I say, uh, name, uh, as name, email, address, phone number. And so on. So this function is to prove their identity. Okay. So second is login system. Okay. Uh, so for login system, um, it means a set of credential uh, used to authentic authenticate a user, and this consists uh, of a username and password yeah so uh, the function of login system is uh, to prevent an authorized access to conf confidential data okay so in our login system uh, the first one is us user need to log in into the system Actually, the priority is mandatory. Second is the system must verify the email and password of the user. And system will display invalid email or password. If they enter the wrong email or password. So this is mandatory. And last, is, last one is if the user forget their password, they have to enter their email to recover the password from their, their email. Okay, so for the third functional command is uh, booking system okay so uh, in our booking system passengers send request and booking for a cab this man priority is mandatory second is driver receive a request and booking for the passenger mm, mandatory drivers can accept or decline requests mandatory if the driver accept the request he will send information about his location and estimate time to arrive the passenger leaving location 
And the last one is passenger can receive information about the cab that is assigned to pick them up. And so for the last one for uh, for function requirement is feedback. Okay, feedback. Uh, passenger can give feedback and wait for the cab driver service. Okay, so we go to non function requirement. We have four. Uh, first one is reliability issue. Okay, in reliability. In reliability issue, cab booking system enable with GPS system to keep track of all of the driver and fleet so that user can monitor all the activity of their driver. So this is uh, mandatory. Second is if the system crash, it should be perfectly normal when the user reloaded again. Okay. So this is their priority is parity. Uh, and mandatory and last one is the system is able to handle the sudden increase in the total number of booking <coughs> okay so uh, second is usability issue okay in usability issue the system must be easy and simple to use for all the type of people such as age and different background so uh, so the priority is mandatory and the system should have a help and support menu in all interface for the user to interact with the system by reading aid. User can understand the system very well and can complete what they need, need once they see the interface. Okay. <coughs> okay, so uh, we go to uh, third non-fashion requirement which is a security issue. Okay, in this system, this system will contain three identification which is to define the system requirement. The system should have use a username and password in the first interface to log in so it can prevent an accurate access. And the last one is av availability issue which is a user should be able to access the system all the time. Okay, that's all for me. Thank you. Now we will go to the use case second. But before that, I would like to introduce myself first. Hello, my name is Alvin Jason, and my metric number is 262603. Okay, let's go for my group use case second. For the name, we put the name as cat booking system. And you know the cat booking system is also same as the go driver and grab. Okay. So we have two actors here. The first one is passenger and the second one is driver. And what the system will do? The system will do register, login, booking, and feedback. For this one, this is our use case diagram. And this rectangle is represent of our system. All inside here, not the outside here. But the outside we have these two stick men and these two stick men is represent of the actor that I said before. This one is passenger and this one is cap. And what the system will do? The system will do register, logging, booking and feedback. So you know before you using this system you had to do a registration first. After that, you had to login. So here login, before you enter the system, you had to login. First, first thing first, you need to verify the password. And this will be as always before you enter the system. You had to do a login by verify the password. And if your password is wrong, it will display the login error. And this will be not will uh, not always happen. So I put it as extend here. Okay. The third one, what the system will do? The system can do a booking. Here you can start booking the cab. Right. Send request. Send request. Request accept or decline, and pick up location. And the last one is feedback. This feedback is like. You can give a comment, you can give like a style, and so on. Okay, that's all uh, for me.
and thanks for hear my presentation and i will pass the presentation to the next okay that's all for me thank you my name is Nuru Fatishara Binti Rahim and my metric number is 271616 i would like to present about use case specification for cap booking system we have four use case specification. Firstly, for the use case register account CBS02, passenger and the driver need to register an account. This description, this use case is initiated by the customer and also the driver. This use case will enable the customer to book for a cab and allow the driver to accept the request. Firstly, both of them need to register an account as the driver or the passenger. For the preconditions, user need to register an account whether they are driver or a passenger. For the post conditions, the passenger manage to create an account. The system will display a register successful message. The user has a new account to log in. For the rule, the user must create an account and complete key in the personal detail to use the system. The user can create one account only using the same email to register. Uh, the second use case is uh, login account CBS02. This use case is initiated by the passenger and also the cab driver. This use case will prompt the user to login into the cab booking system by using their register email and password. Precondition is User must log in either as passenger or a driver. For the post conditions, system will display cab booking system menu. For the rules, user need to have a registered account before logging into the system. Constraints, the system will log out automatically when the user does not control the panel more than 30 minutes. For the third use case is a booking system CBS03. The this use case is initiated by the passenger to book a cab. Passenger need to send a request. The driver will receive a request from the passenger. Precondition: the system will display all the information about the cab, which is the cab current location and estimate to arrive. For the post conditions. The passenger managed to view all the cab information that are available. The system will respond and update the request by passenger. And the rules, the driver must reach to the passenger request as soon as possible, either want to accept or reject the request. The constraints, if the passenger takes too long to find a cab, the system will refresh automatically to retrieve all the cab information that is available. And the last one is feedback CBS04. This use case is initiated by the passenger. This use case will allow passenger to give a feedback and rate for the cab driver's services. Pre conditions passenger need to register and log in into the system. For the post conditions, the passenger wants to provide feedback. The constraints, the passenger need to fill up the information asked in the feedback form before sent into the system. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am Amy Najwa, Binti Muhammad Ramli. Okay, I will continue our presentations which is cab booking system activity diagram. Okay, let's take a look at the overall process. Okay. Mainly, our system consists of a passenger, cab booking system and also the driver. Okay, the process begins when the uh, when both of the passenger and the driver uh, must have an account. So, uh, the system will display the registration form and they need to uh, key in their uh, name, phone number, email and their password. Okay, if both of them... Uh, already have an account so they just need to log in to the system okay uh, now we go to the login process okay 
after both of them are successfully logged into the system uh, so uh, they will continue to the next process which is uh, for the passenger uh, he or she will search the nearby cab while for the driver uh, he or she will waiting for the request okay if they enter the invalid password so the, the system will display the login error and they need to uh, log in again okay back to the passenger after the passenger search the nearby cab so the system will display the nearby cab uh, and uh, the passenger may send request and inform where he or she want to go okay then uh, the passenger need to confirm the request whether he or she want to uh, proceed with the uh, request or not so if not so the system will end here and if yes so the system will display car, uh, the passenger's current location by gps uh, while for the driver um, uh, the driver have uh, the driver uh, may accept or reject the request okay if the driver uh, reject the request so the system will update uh, to the passenger and the passenger uh, have to search nearby cab again and the process will continue uh, will uh, repeat again uh, while uh, when the uh, while if the driver uh, accept the request so the driver will send his or her current locations and estimated time to arrive at the passengers uh, uh, locations okay, okay. Uh, then the system will update the arrival of the driver and the passenger will uh, get the notifications uh, from the system okay uh, the, the process continue when uh, passenger may give uh, feedback to the uh, system about the uh, service of the driver whether the passengers is uh, is satisfied or dissatisfied uh, uh, about the service of the driver and the passenger may log up uh, his or her account and the process will end here okay that's all from me and thank you